So hello everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about the difference between workspaces and apps and how you should use them, or my recommendation on how you could use them. That sounds better. Okay, so this is the typical workflow for um, Power BI. You create a report in Power BI Desktop, you click publish and you publish it to Power BI service and it gets published into a workspace. And before that apps came about, the only way you could actually give business user access to your reports, it was giving them access to the workspace. The Power BI team a few years ago decided that that was not the best experience. They created something that it was called apps. So from a workspace, you could create apps and you could give access to consumers to the app instead of the workspace or both. They could have access to both actually. And there is an, like an app store where consumers can go and find their reports. They're basically finding their apps in there. And I found it very confusing at the beginning, but once you understand the logic behind it, it just made more sense. And this is what I think. Uh, consumers, you should, uh, you should use apps to give access to reports to to business users, to consumers, the consumers of your reports. And you should leave workspaces for yourself. This is why. Number one, the user experience for workspaces is not very good. It is very, very messy. And I will talk about it at the end because I don't think it's fair to say it's messy and not give any more feedback. But I will tell you why it is messy. So with the new, especially with the new app experience, I have a video on that. They've made a fabulous job in creating something that is easy and intuitive and that is exactly what business users need. So think like this, a business user has another job, you know, and data and reports are tools that they need to be able to do the job. So data is not the job. It is something else, and they need data to be able to make better decisions. So for that reason, it needs to be easy, it needs to be intuitive, it needs to be fast. If it's good looking, even better, because it will attract more usage. So nothing overcomplicated, nothing, just as easy and simple as possible. And that's what the new app navigation does for me. I think they've made a fantastic job. You can access things very, very quickly. You know where everything is. Great. Now, so workspaces are too messy for consumers. And here's the thing. I think there's a need for a pre-environment, a place where business analysts, Power BI analysts, Power BI administrators use to prepare everything for then the consumer. So I've been using the workspaces as a it's called a staging environment. Staging environment is uh, a pre-place where you can do anything and nobody sees it, but then when you publish it, it's like working on Power BI Desktop. You have it in your computer. It's only you that sees, but when you publish it to Power BI, you might not be ready for publishing it yet. So if you, your business users do not have access to the workspace, that means basically that you can still play around, fix the row level security, make sure that all the permissions are correct, make sure that all the bookmarking and all that stuff is working. If you have read through report, make sure it works. And you can do that knowing that you're not disturbing anybody. And then once you're ready, you click publish, and then you publish it to an app and the business user consumes that app. Okay, so that gives you a, a pre-environment for you to work and prepare and do everything without messing up somebody's experience. So for those two reasons, I recommend using apps for consumers only and workspaces for, you know, analysts, developers, administrators to fix everything they need to fix before they actually publish the app. So how are you using it? Let me know in the comment box and Give your thoughts and ideas. I think it's also healthy to have other opinions than just mine. With that said, I want to just very, very quickly go through what I mean with 
workspace being messy. So let's jump into the computer and let me show you. So, so here we are on the Power BI service. And already here, there's a lot of stuff going on. If we go in here, let's pick blue. Let's see how many menus you have. You have here one menu, which is the download administration. Mm -hmm. You have here another menu. And all of this opens new menus. Here you have another menu. And then you have all this stuff in here. Where do you start? You have all these buttons here. And then if you want to, you know, find data sets or service content packs, it, I mean, it's just links and buttons everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It is a mess. Where do you start? So if you then go to workspaces, it opens a new menu and then you have here a new menu and then it just continues. It goes on and on and on. If you click on workspace, my workspace, it gets to a new menu and here there are menus. Here we have more menus and then here we have more menus. And it, it is, if I was a business user that needs to get my reports quickly, this would not allow me to do it. It is uh, too complicated, actually. So I would, what I would like to see is to have a place in the Power BI service for administrators and people that are publishing reports and to have a place in the Power BI service just for consumers. And that place would be like an app store for real. Just go that extra mile. And imagine that you would have like, these are the top reports used in the organization so you can promote the reports that you think your organization would see. You would have a reviewing system. You know, I'll show you how to get had a feedback form on the new app experience, which is fantastic. But think if you would have a review system for all the reports in the organization. That would be fantastic. Think if you could give comments on the app itself the same way as you're doing an app store. Okay, and then you could favorite your most liked reports. It would give a lot of information to the Power BI administrators to know what's working, what's not working, what things should we fix. And then forget all about all that other stuff. You know, it's it, it, it is way too messy. As a business user, as a business, as a consumer, you need to get your data, you need to get it now, and then you need to move on and do whatever the, whatever you were doing before you went into Power BI to grab that data. Okay? So th that's my thought. Um, again, let me know your comments. I would love to know how you think about this. It, it might be, there, there is a video that Guy in the Cube made, Adam Saxton. I really recommend you to check it because he was also saying that um, the for consumers, for business users, you should use apps. But now there is a new permission on Workspace that is a visitor. And that means that, or viewer, is viewer. So that means that that person that cannot do anything, that permission was not available before. So it's just viewing the content. And he thought that, oh, maybe we could start giving access to business users into workspace. I, would, I wouldn't do it for the reasons that I explained, but it's good for you to have another point of view. So I'm going to link to his video down below. Go and check it out and then come back and tell me what you think. I would love to know. Okay, so are you having a great summer? I'm definitely, uh, hopefully, I haven't started yet, but by the time you're seeing this. Okay, so I'll see you again on the next video. Have a fantastic summer and bye-bye.